What's up, YouTube? Robert the Corner Trap here, and I have a good treat for you today. Guess what it is? Can, can, can you guess? No, no, no. I know what you're thinking. I will not spoil this movie for you. I really thought about it, and I said to myself, I want to get a video out, uh, you know, day after I've seen it, and I also have recorded a spoiler version of this before I did this. So I've gotten all that out of my system. I've ranted, I've raved, I did like 10 min uh, 30 minutes on it. And I will upload that in two weeks. So if you really want to hear my thoughts about it, unfortunately you're going to have to be a little patient with me. As far as this review goes, I'm not even going to talk so much about the story or the elements therein. I'm going to talk about the cinematography, the visuals, the, the, the overall feeling I got from this movie. And to be honest, the overall feeling I got was kind of... Uh, meh. It's not that the, the story was poorly told. No. It had very interesting moments, had a few funny things happen, and J.J. Abrams knows what the hell he's doing. But... By the same token, they, they've they leaned on, on so many old tropes that it's kind of hard to not really want to see some new things. I said in my spoiler video that the lack of aliens is very, very present in this. So, but I also, now thinking about it, have the other end of, the other side of that coin here they will stick out. You will notice them. They will be very well detailed. Everything has real, just seeping through the pores of it. Every shot is gorgeous. It's beautiful little scenescapes, backlit with, with you know, real things happening. Uh, the CGI's ha have such an effect that a lot of it's really not noticeable. And even the things that, that maybe don't look completely in place, you could overlook it easily. It's not hard to do. Um, the practical effects in this movie were wonderful. In fact, I think they used... Uh, I think I was watching the, uh, the, the previews, and they said that the island that they used for where Luke, at the end of Force Awakens... Uh, where Ray runs into him is actually in Ireland. And it's, like I said, it's gorgeous. It works very well. It's a very tiny island and it feels isolated, but it feels as though things are living, that things are happening, that things are there, that it's not dead, that there's life. And it's, and it's great. And even, I mean, there's, there are scenes that, that just, it even it's just a little detail, and it's great. Uh, they they add so much in to the visuals that I'm probably gonna have to go again to see it again, and I and I want to. I do. I want to go see this again. Hell, I'm thinking about going seeing the 3D because I want to see what that does to the to the visuals. What what maybe an added layer of perspective would do for it. And I don't think, while I don't think that it has a very high chance of giving me anything I don't, anything that's going to make me go, yes, this movie needed that. It was absolutely required. I can't believe I wasted my time watching it in 2D, like I did for Doctor Strange. I think this is going to be a case of, well, it wasn't bad. It, it's very good, but it, it's eh, like I, I'm feeling for this. And I felt for many videos or many movies that I have seen in 3D, they didn't need it. The only other one that I can think of offhand is uh, Ant-Man. Ant-Man really needed the perspective. So I don't think there's anything that's going to make me say, yes, this needs that. Um... They're, they they do, again, like I said, they, they, they fall back on old tropes. And there's a very wonderful musical, music accompaniment with that. So you feel 
important moments, when they're supposed to happen, how you're supposed to be impacted by the story that's being told. And unfortunately for me, I felt that like it either needed to sit down and tell the story slow with a with a build that would be okay we're still we're, we're we we did the force awakens that told some story we're still telling some story but the last one the the next the next star wars we do is going to be bombastic we're getting we're getting everything in there we're we're doing it all let's do this as in but this one had let's blow out let's let's do big actiony things and then Oh, now we're going to try and sit down and tell you a story. No. Dude, you, you really can't, can't do that. That kind of a tonal shift is, is not fun. It doesn't really work. Um, the reason I, I did this is because um, I love the visuals of this movie so much that I had to include this image because I feel like it was it, it's very it's it's iconic and the thing about Kylo Ren is that they they made him look you know vulnerable by having again they they uh, they do what they can to bring it across in the vocal shorthand, but they also do it visually. So it was very interesting to see uh, him and also old Mark Hamill. I mean, Mark Hamill in this one is a very embittered, hate-riddled, uh, I don't care about the rest of the world kind. I don't care about the rest of the galaxy. I'm in this for me and the Jedi and I'm the only one, so I'm not teaching anybody. I'm not going to try and go out and do anything. I'm just going to be me on this island, away from everything else. And I don't want to deal with anything. I mean, I've, I've done my part. So the... The way he's dressed in very much in, in the entirety of this movie very much brings across his state of mind and and how he feels and and his outlook on life and I thought that was very good that they that they threw that little bit in there it's like oh I don't care I don't care because he's unkempt he's unshaven he's just he walks around. And you can tell it in the way he walks that he doesn't care anymore. He's burdened. And people acting in certain ways and, and bringing that across in their facial expressions and the, the tone of voice that they use was, was rather wonderful, I, I thought. Um, the, again, the... The hard part about telling this is not telling the story. And to the movie's credit, uh, I'm sorry, to the movie's detriment in, in some cases, it tries to weave exposition into a lot of things. There's, there's nothing that doesn't matter in this movie, but they're going in a lot of different directions, and it's hard sometimes to follow. Which is why I'm going to go back and rewatch it because I want to understand. It's like I already know where you're going. Let me focus on what you're saying rather than what I'm seeing because the 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 oversaturation of the visuals really kind of hurt the dialogue that's coming across, the conflicts that are involved. And yeah, I got a lot of it, but I feel like I could do with a second watch through and be even better. <sighs> but, you know, it's kind of what you get. Thank you for watching. I know this one's not going to be too terribly long, but I feel like I don't want to give away too much right now. 
I want to give you a chance to go out to the movie theaters and see it. So please, that's my recommendation. Please go see this movie. It's very much worth your time. You will not be disappointed by this movie. Please also like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm betting you're going to notice that I'm going to be throwing this video on my Twitter. I have a Twitter. Ooh. And I will see you all next time. Ah!